starting the week off working wardrobe on a short film, which is not affiliated with the AMPTP, FYI, but super fun project that I'm so excited to be a part of. Everybody's outfits in the little chart. Basically in this short, I had seven schoolgirls in a prep school and a teacher to style, so I'm just trying to get all of their outfits together and remember who is wearing what. Yes, yeah, right? I got these. They have like a little yeah. pinstripe on them. I don't know why. Yeah. Uh, just yeah. this. I'm gonna get you the headphones. And then for you, perfect date. It's not too hot and not too cold. All you need is a light yeah. sweater. I'm gonna have to do it. All right, let's see. Okay. Let's see. And your tie are two kind of conflicting colors, so I'm gonna have you get a baby one. She's gonna have a cardigan on. All right, cute. <laughs> Love it. Now, the elevator door is open and you're all looking right at me. And then, uh, going up. Oh, okay, lady. That's fixed it. job is done for a little while because everybody's in the studio filming the scene. So I'm just gonna hang out for a bit and uh, get some work done. But I think everybody looks so good. the YouTube headquarters here in uh, Marina Del Rey for the YouTube Holiday House. I'm so excited. I want to take you guys along with me this week because it's kind of a fun week. My sister's in town. I have a movie premiere in ooh, like six, five days. We're doing a lot of fun spooky stuff this week while my sister and uh, her wife are here. Starting the week off strong with uh, YouTube Holiday House. I'm going to learn all about the best practices for YouTube's affiliate program. They're shopping uh, platform that they've sort of introduced this year and I'm so excited it's just in time because you know the holiday season's coming up and uh, I'm really excited to get inspired to create some fun uh, content for you guys throughout the rest of the year but I'll take you guys around with me today and uh, give you a behind the scenes of what it's like to be here if you don't know about the YouTube shopping program it's open to YouTube creators who are uh, at 20k subs and above kind of nervous because like I low-key don't really know very many other youtubers and I would love to have more YouTube friends uh, so I'm here by myself and it's a little nerve wracking but hopefully uh, <laughs> make some new friends and um, yeah let's see where the week takes us Trouser. We love a trouser. <laughs> Creative, confident, independent, collaborative, excellent people skills, but also optimistic, enthusiastic, open-minded, loves variety and freedom, generous and playful, and also growth, goal, and oriented, determined, focused, ambitious, creative, and a perfectionist. All pretty accurate. <laughs> This is 
It's like the friendliest world of people. I feel so loved. Thank you so much. It's so great to see everybody. Um, welcome to our very first invite-only YouTube shopping holiday event. Brands like Ulta Beauty, Nordstrom, Bloomingdale's, Fenty, and Abercrombie & Fitch are joining forces with creators like you to create shopping content on YouTube and taking it to a whole new level. Nashville together, which oh was one of the most iconic brand trips I've ever been on in my life. So fun. Please, what was the, it was whiskey. It was, no, it was for layer cake wines. <gasps> layer cake but wines. But it was a specific cab that was like, they were aging it in bourbon barrels. That's, so that's what, what it was. was. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, if you guys are watching this, which I'm sure all of you are, um, we're available to go on another trip. I would love that. Yeah, go to another absolutely. like Vanderbilt homecoming game. Yes. That was so fun. Oh my god, the oh best trip. And in my hometown too. Oh so I got yes. to be like a tourist in my own hometown. Oh but now obviously everyone has left. So <laughs> we like, need to go. It's time for us to go inside. Alright. <laughs> About to get my headshot taken, so I <laughs> had to freshen up really fast. Video, so you can actually drink it. Can she though? You say you don't want to get in trouble, but you don't find because you don't come in. I don't want to break your little bubble, but you gotta wake up to reality. Cause I can see in your eyes, your head. Are you ready to get scared? I'm so ready to get scared. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
First time at Not Scary Farm, and I have to say, I was really impressed like the production value and just the quality of everything, and the fact that you get to ride the rides too while you're there. If you're in LA during Halloween, highly recommend checking it out because it's just so well done. And somehow we got away with barely waiting in line for anything, and it was a Thursday night, so maybe a pro tip is to go on a Thursday night. I don't know, but a fun time and a spooky time was had by all. Trying to catch up on some work this week it's just been crazy but i got some pr in the last couple of days so i figured i would do a little uh pr haul first thing that came in the mail today was from uh pixie beauty i don't know if you guys are familiar with pixie beauty but they uh have been sending me pr for so freaking long it sent me another one of their glow tonics this is so cute i mean i love this box it's such gorgeous your light is a gift to the world um it's like a really nice high quality box but the the glow tonic is nicely in here. I might have to keep this box for something, honestly. I love how they analyze the glow tonic with my name on it every time. I have such a back stock of this stuff um, in my bathroom because they always send like a huge one and I just can't go through it fast enough <laughs> to use it all up. And because they put my name on it, I feel kind of weird about giving them to other people. I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, but this is an amazing toner. It gently exfoliates, brightens, and reveals healthy glowing skin for all skin types. Um, it's alcohol free and you can use it uh, in the morning and the evening. It has 5% glycolic acid, which is an exfoliating toner. So it's like a nice gentle amount of glycolic acid. It's not like a crazy amount that's going to irritate your skin um, because you are ideally using it twice a day. It's me glowing. This and the Paula's Choice um, AHA or BHA exfoliant. I'll put a picture of it right here. Those are my two favorite exfoliating toners by far. I switch between them all the time. I also got something from Olive and June. They are always sending me new press-on nails and they just launched uh, their super stick mani, like instant manis. So um, before I feel like all of their nails were the type where you would have the glue that came with them, you had to glue them on. But now they have tab press-ons that you stick on, you don't need glue. So they already have that like adhesive on the back of them. Now I'm a little wary about this because I personally have tried to use Impress so many times. That's the brand that I feel like is very known for having the, the ones that have the adhesive on the back of them and they do not work for me. So very interested to try these and see how it goes. Um, I'll definitely uh, keep you guys informed on a future video whether or not I really like these, but with a sticker with my name on it, very fun. And I'm so excited because I got a new purse, which I'm so excited to open with you guys. This is from the brand Janessa Leone. I think I'm saying that right. They're a brand that's uh, local here in Los Angeles. And they really just, just, she really specializes in like minimalist, beautiful quality pieces. She's got her start in making uh, wool hats and she sort of expanded into making um, other accessories. And I thought this bag would be such a great choice. It's just really classic and clean um and i know that like this is a bag that will just stand the test of time it's beautiful leather um and it's made here in la which i really think is so cool i can just see this bag just getting better with age it is big enough to fit like all of my everyday essentials so i love it i think it's so pretty i just love this like asymmetrical 
top to it. Um, if you're interested, I will pop the link to this down in the description box. Yeah, I'm just waiting on my sister and the crew to get here. Um, and we are going to go head down to Paradise Cove in Malibu for the day because that's um, my sister and her wife's one of their favorite places to go while they're here. So they want to go check it out. And I definitely could use a relaxing afternoon by the beach. Wearing a really cute uh, outfit that I mostly got from my swag bag from the YouTube thing the other day. So I'll show you guys the full fit in a bit, but we gotta run to the store, get some provisions for the beach, and drive out to the boo. Getty, which is one of my favorite places to bring people from out of town because it's just one of the best art museums in LA and one of my favorite art museums that I've ever been to in the world um, because it's equally uh, beautiful outside as it is with like really great exhibits inside. The architecture here and the gardens are so nice and it's really nice to just come here and chill and like have a glass of wine and walk around the gardens. So we're just gonna relax and take in some artwork. Baby. <laughs> the Getty's fun to come and look at art, but it's also fun to come and drink wine outside. That's part of it. <laughs> An extra glass. <laughs> to the brewery art walk in downtown this happens twice a year all these artists live in these like loft spaces in downtown LA and they open it up to the public to come and check out their work and buy their work and 
It's a really fun day, so haven't done this since before the pandemic. Let's do it. I love to see the artwork, but sometimes the thing that's even more interesting to me is to see the artist's spaces and how they decorate it and how they live in these spaces. It's really cool. This one in particular is very immersive. It feels like you're in a sci-fi movie. And I learned that you can also rent this space out for photo shoots and for filming, which is really cool. Welcome to the gun show. <laughs> this is your, your weapon stash. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna get a June shine. Going up inside. It's like a labyrinth in here. That's so cool. People live and work in here. So I found Anastasia Hi, I'm and here. Alice. She's here. Ah. <laughs> We're just gonna look at a bunch of art and, yeah, and drink and buy things. And buy things. <gasps> we should have another drink. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody bought some artwork. Let's see what you got. Oh, yes. Oh my God, that's gonna look so good on your wall next to each other. All right, where are the nails? Oh my God, show me. Oh my God, oh my God. I got these for a movie premieres. Oh, uh, and I got these because I know, because I did, I did. Wow. <laughs> Come on. I got these because they keep me. Wow. And then these ones because they're like Lisa Frank, but also monsters. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> So creepy. <laughs> Want some fish assholes? Yeah, fish assholes. And some creamed possum. You like this? I do like that. Not spotted dick. No. <laughs> This whole situation is like, what's in this room? What's in that room? What's in that building? <laughs> what's in the box? What's in that room? What's in the room? It says no drama. No drama. Then we can't go in there. Sorry. What's dramatic about me? Just Hot beer, lousy food, bad service, welcome. <laughs> Can't have more than 8,000 people in here, so it's pretty sad. This is no more than 8,000 people in here. <laughs> Love babies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love it. We can all eat Walking across this bridge is always a little trippy. I'll tell you this though, I don't want to be out here when an earthquake happens. <laughs>
Good morning. Today's the big day. I say I am so tired. The last week has been really fun. It's also been really tiring. Been going and driving around and doing a bunch of really fun stuff around town with my sister. I'm not used to all this running around, that's for sure. I'm definitely nervous, to say the least, today. Nervous and excited. I just really hope that tonight goes well. I guess I'm more nervous because this is the first premiere I've been to of a movie that I'm the lead of. Been in other films, gone to their premieres. It was a bit less of like nervousness and pressure. Just the thought that everyone is gonna basically see my work. Many of them have not because I definitely took quite a long break from doing acting. It just feels like a very hard launch of hard relaunch of my acting career. I hope people really like it. I'm always my worst critic. It's definitely hard to watch myself, but I, I know that that's pretty common. I have a boxing class with Anastasia in about an hour, so I'm gonna get myself geared up to go to that and then come home and try to get some work done and get ready for the premiere. <sighs> Cheers. Ah! <laughs> I'm vlogging this week, so I was trying to get my establishing shot oh, of so Prevail sorry. Boxing. And I would have maybe put that insert of you running in, but I got here before you. <laughs> I was late, I'm sorry. I'm always the one that's late, and you're always the one that's early. I, know. I got there and I was like, did she forget about this class? No! <laughs> no, I didn't! No. It was traffic. <laughs> I'm nice and sweaty now. Yeah, I'm gross. I'm gonna go to my uh, next thing like this. Oh, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> you're fitting, people are gonna be like, does she smell bad? <laughs> Customers are gonna be like, you're not hiring her again. <laughs> I can't handle the way she smells. <laughs> it's time to get ready. Have my nails on. Just got these yesterday or the other day when we were at the, uh, the art brewery art walk. Love them. They're so fun for Halloween and for this uh, horror film premiere. They are really long though. Like this is like, I, I literally cannot function with nails this long. Let's go to my bathroom and do a little Get ready with me. Let's get that face looking snatched. I'm gonna go ahead and actually use my new face today. I haven't used this thing in forever. Thing to know about the new face, if you're ever interested in getting it, is like it's a thing that you have to use continually. Like if you stop using it, you stop seeing the results of it. Just let's see if I can even do my hair with my nails like this. Vision was sort of this like sort of sleek center part sort of updo with like a little bit of volume in the back. Good way to do that is just take one of these type of combs, just go up from your nose. And run it back. I did that right. And then take a front section. So you're kind of going to find like where the ear is. Section it off. I'm just going to clip. My little under eye things are not staying under my eye because I have so much like of that new face serum still on my skin. I feel like it's making it extra slippery. Front section here. I want this front part to be really nice and sleek. So I'm just gonna like straighten it. I have all these little like baby hairs up here. We're gonna take like these two front sections. I want them somewhat behind my ears. Little tiny clear elastic, which nails, man. I'm gonna make like a little detail back there. Put the rest of the hair down now. Like front section that's tucked behind the ears and then this other part that's um it's down. So I've got my hair mostly done. Just kind of ran um, an iron through it and gave it a little bit of a bend. Tried to like smooth it out a bit, make it look a little bit more sleek. Especially for uh, this little front part, I want it to look nice and like shiny and sleek. So I'm using some of my Color Wow Pop and Lock High Gloss Finish. Um, and this stuff really just makes your hair look really pretty and shiny. It has like a little bit of glitter in it. Just trying to smooth this parted front part and then I'm just gonna take whatever the excess is and try to like run it over my hair to like tame flyaways a little bit and it smells amazing. Um, I also used this uh, Southern Belle 
uh, volume boosting powder for the back part. I'm really trying to have a little bit more volume back there. Like I would like it to be like this, but I just feel like my hair is so heavy. It's really hard. Anytime I try to tease it, I'll tease the crap out of it. And I just feel like it doesn't really do what I'm trying to get it to do. This stuff does really help. It's like a powder, a little bit goes a long way. You put it where you want volume and you just kind of like massage it into your hair with your fingers. And it really, I mean, it makes your hair feel really weird. I'm not gonna lie. Um, gonna have to wash my hair tomorrow for sure. But um, it does help to give like a little bit of like a volume thing. So it's like trying to find the fine line between like creating volume back there and keeping it looking not like a rat's nest. It's definitely a struggle. Finished makeup look, kind of vampy, but not too crazy dramatic. I just got these earrings from Amazon today. I thought they were like gonna be perfect for my outfit. Um, so yeah, now I need to get dressed and I need to leave. That, is, that, that looks yummy. Like, you know, you... What was it? Oh, so sure. lavender. <laughs> and y'all, here's where I really dropped the ball. I did not take any video, barely at all, when we were at the premiere. I'm really kicking myself. I think I was just so nervous, but here's some photos from before. We had so many people from the cast and so many friends that came out, and it was amazing. Alright, it's almost time. It's almost time! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, how's everybody doing tonight? Woo! Wow, that was sad. That was so sad. How y'all doing tonight? Woo! Hello, everybody. Thanks for coming. Uh, this movie was made for very little money, so keep your expectations very low. No. The acting is superb. Keep those expectations very low as well. Just kidding. <laughs> it's 93 minutes of spooky frightness, and uh, perfect time for Halloween. What man in the heart? There's no man, there's no man. Thanks for sticking around. <laughs> Let's go with uh, Jessica first, and then if uh, anybody else cares to answer, we can go from there. What was the inspiration for Inner Demons? Is this on? The inspiration for this film was a couple amazing classic horror films. One is uh, Jacob's Ladder, and the other one, Carnival of Souls. Thank you. You know, Mike put his own very unique creative spin on those classic ideas to make it something new and fresh. And uh, yeah, did I cover all the bases there? Sure. All right. There's a little Evil Dead in there. There's a little Drag Me to Hell. Okay, yeah, 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 exactly. Michael, uh, what was the total budget for the film? Too much change I have in my pocket. I thought the budget. All in $9,000. Shot this in Los Angeles? Yes. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. It's about the friends and wanting to get something done and being, you know, very willing with your time and our time and being, it was just easy to work with. You know, a few hours here, a few hours there. So we're, we're short-staffed and everybody pretty much pulled double, triple duty. It becomes a fun thing to create with such a such a small crew, but also at the same time, I like, just wish you had that extra hand. But What was challenging for me, which is always just challenging in life for me, which is like doing my hair and makeup. <laughs> so I saw, I saw it. <laughs> and the best parts was like, I got to choke you out. That was pretty fun. It's challenging because you kept going, no, you gotta choke her from this angle. And I was like, I feel bad. <laughs> I had like, what, like 10 people in the bed choking me in that scene? Yeah, it was really awkward. The, the acting perspective, the challenge was maybe just playing this character for so long, which is, you know, like, you know, when you think you're done and then Mike's like, hey. I just had an idea. We gotta do this one more thing. It's only gonna take two hours. And I'm like, okay. It was really fun to, you know, it was just a very scrappy set and we had a lot of fun. It's, it will be streaming. We're hoping for physical media, but I don't know. Good morning. I am so tired, to say the least. I got maybe four hours of sleep last night. Here at my little dermatology appointment that I had to... I haven't been to the dermatologist since I was like a teenager. Some of my, uh, my moles checked. I have this weird, like rash that's been like right here on my face for like forever so i'm trying to figure out what the hell is up with that everything is good moles are all normal just went and had like a mammogram done for the first time uh like a couple weeks ago or maybe last week it was oh my god it's been such a week um and that was fine and normal so yeah i'm just so grateful like i just feel like such a 
insane amount of gratitude today. Having really great health, first of all, which is such a huge thing, because I, I do have some friends right now who are going through some stuff which is really scary and hard. Being so grateful, first of all, that I am so healthy every day and I, I feel good and I know that's not a reality for for everyone and so like it's just something that I don't take for granted and so just last night man that premiere I, I just don't know if I have the words to express just like the amount of like high that I'm on today just from that like the premiere went really well people loved the movie so many people came up to me afterwards and told me that I did really really well and it just it just felt very um gratifying I guess to put myself out there to the people who I know, people who I don't know, and to have that kind of response. I just feel like I always am my own worst critic and I'm always like doubting myself and wondering if I'm any good. And you, you do so many auditions and you never hear back from most of them. It's good to you after a while because in your head you start thinking like, oh my God, I must really suck. The, the side of my brain that, you know, wants so badly to do this and like you, it's hard not to take it personally, basically. This night was just very validating and it was just really special to get to celebrate this project that we've been working on so hard for really the last uh, eight or so months and to have everybody get to finally see it is just so cool. I think I'm gonna end this vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna try to do more vlogs. Hopefully, uh, if you all watch this, you enjoy it. So please, please give me a comment and let me know um, you know, if you want me to do more of these. If you want to check out one of my latest fashion videos, I'll put a couple of them right here so you can go watch that next. So I'll see you guys over here. And if not, I will see you on the next video. Bye and happy Halloween.